everybody welcome to my channel today we're gonna discuss about the press and uh, get free test uh, using our uh, software let's say something about brush and get free test uh, so all of you know that the history of autocorrelation test uh, trace back uh, in the mid in the mid of 19th century due to the publication of Darwin and uh, Watson paper who they introduced the a classic test for autocorrelated error in a, a regression uh, model however the Darwin and the Watson statics test only uh, for autocorrelation of uh, first order and it is not uh, valid in dynamic uh, models so one of the possible solution or alternative solution uh, for such kind of problem is the using the brush and the godfrey uh, test this test is uh, uh, this test is um, introduced by the two the two scientists that means the brush and godfrey they published their work in uh, 1978 so this test is, has um, so many uh, advantages uh, possibly for advantage the first one is it's very uh, easy to apply and the second one is, is applicable in the presence of the lagged uh, dependent uh, variable uh, it's also valid for a very general hypothesis about uh, serial correlation the errors and finally it is uh, synthetically equivalent to uh, the LM test or the lag range uh, multiplier uh, test so today uh, we were gonna uh, compute or do analysis or uh, test using this uh, method that means the brush and uh, Godfrey test so let's import uh, our data before that uh, let's say something about to set the null hypothesis as well as the alternative hypothesis as you can see here the null hypothesis you can set there is no autocorrelation at any order less than or equal to the p again the alternative one will be uh, there is existence of autocorrelation at the same order less than or equal to the uh, p so in order to perform this model uh, that means this test the brush and Godfrey test you have to use the bg test package which is built in the LM test, uh, uh, LM test package so you have to load this package in order to run uh, this test in our software then you, you, ha you have to say it in this uh, way and you have to also specify uh, the uh, the order so this is the model that you carry out for the brush and uh, good for a test so let's import uh, our data our data is uh, uh, actually is my data, but for sake of tutorial, it will be our data. So it's find here in October, then submit this one to our software, let import it. Yes. Yeah. So here is uh, the regressor will be applied here. It's grain yield will be camp first and the remaining parameters SF, HI, DH, and others. Uh, um, it should be added in this way then again also you have to specify the order and you have to indicate your data name and here, here also don't forget to uh, use the function the uh, BG test B standards for the brush and uh, D standards for uh, Godfrey so by this way you can compute or perform the brush and Godfrey test for setting of uh, autocorrelation. So type this and submit to our studio so that you can get here is the p value which is uh, 0 0.81 and uh, uh, if the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so we will accept our uh, null hypothesis. So uh, since uh, the p value is greater than uh, 0 0.05, we can accept the null hypothesis. That means there is no autocorrelation uh, in our uh, data. So, and conclude that autocorrelation does not uh, exist among the residual at some order uh, less than or equal to. Uh, three. So by this way, we can perform the brush and um, Godfrey uh, test. So so this is all about uh, today's uh, tutorial. And as usual, uh, if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email. Uh, Wagdra. Here is my email. Wagdra testfahun at uh, uh, gmail uh, dot com or alternatively, you can use YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.